Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So on some previous videos I've been working on this washing machine motor and I just want to do a little bit of a progress update for those of you that follow my channel. So first thing I want to say thank you to uh, 3D Printing's page. He made these beautiful uh, timing wheels for me. Came out really nice. Uh, you guys should definitely check out his page. He's got some really cool stuff he printed. Really nice pulse motors. And because um, this what they were and then this was my hand cut one which was pretty rough but it was a starting point and then yeah off my specs he made these and they turned out really nice so this is one of them right now so what I wanted to go over is now that I got the timing wheel um, working really nice um, I'm gonna make three more it's gonna be three of these circuits this is only on the first phase so there's still two two windings um, I have it running off a 48 volt battery. See right now we're using about 400 milliamps or so. Um, this is full speed and we have the output going into the cap and then it's discharging into this light bulb. This is a, a 40 watt light bulb and um, yeah so what I wanted to show you guys is this is full speed so this would be kind of normal um, but as we take this pulse width modulator and we could start turning this down and um, you could hear the difference in the motor you could see it on the scope so now look at the output so this is the voltage of discharge and then the amp meter is the amperage so we're doing about a little over 200 milliamps into the light bulb every second or so we're using you know 300 milliamps out of the out of the primary battery and um, still have quite a bit of torque but if you slow it down a little bit you can even get this thing blinking faster so it increases output but um yeah that's where I'm at right now um, next stop is um, a triple circuit for this and um, yeah it's starting to run really nice Alright guys, thanks for watching.